Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Adam with Retro Repairs and I've got another video here where I'm going to work on the uh, Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So this is the same uh, system that I did that unboxing and uh, opening video uh, a couple days ago and what I want to do here now is load some custom ROMs onto it. So um, I'm going to kind of just jump right into it. So there's a there's a program that's been developed um, it's called Hackchi. Um, spelt H-A-K-C-H-I and they've recently updated this program for Nintendo Classic, Super Nintendo Classic Mini support. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. As far as looking through the instructions here, I mean it looks pretty straightforward. It says right here, instructions for new users. Install the app, run it, follow instructions. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward. I've already downloaded a bunch of uh, ROMs I want to add on to here, so we're going to try this uh, together. I've never tried to mod a Super Nintendo Classic, or a regular Nintendo Classic for that matter. So we're going to see how this uh, works out. So let's open this up again. For the record, I still haven't actually powered this thing on. So I'm really hoping that it actually works, it's not defective or anything, or that when I opened it up and disassembled everything, I didn't screw something up. But um, I guess we'll find out. Fingers crossed. So, we'll open up the uh, Super Nintendo Classic. So there we go. And we need the micro USB cable for this. So um, we have to hook that up directly to the computer using the USB port. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. And voila, almost like magic. So, um, I just wanna try power this on. And there we have the red light, so we are getting power. Cool, so. Um, I guess first thing to do now, we're going to download, install this app using Hackchi Web Installer. So the download link should be just right below here, Hackchi Web Installer. We're going to save that right to the downloads. And save. And should be good to go here. So hopefully this is a pretty quick uh, process. Downloading, installing, uh, let's go with yes. And just like magic, we've skipped forward in time and the .NET framework has been updated. So let's see what happens next. A lot of nothing. So we're gonna run that installer again and oh, there it goes. Error occurred while attempting to install. So we'll close it and start her brand new again. There we are. Install. So it looks like it's downloading a couple of things and going to install, so we will speed up time. Okay, so we've jumped forward in time, and this is the program here, Hackchi. So first thing we get is, before we start, please select your console. So we have the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Hey there, I'm very glad you're using Hackchi too. It's very simple to use. Just click Add More Games, select some ROMs, press Sync, and follow the instructions. Good luck. So let's do exactly that, Add More Games. Um, I've already downloaded a whole bunch of games, put them in a folder called SNES ROMs, and I guess we just pick the ROM you want and add it. So we're going to go start with Chrono Trigger. Um, that seems to be the one everyone gripes about the most, having uh, not available on this, so we're going to throw Chrono Trigger on there. Looks like you can add box art, so I've even downloaded... Um, I've tried to find a copy of the Chrono Trigger box art. For some reason, there's not really a very good copy. I wonder what happens when we press Google. Hey, it found one for me. So we're going to go ahead and select that one and add more games. So let's go with, there's already Donkey Kong Country. So we're going to go with Donkey Kong Country 2. Get the USA version.
Let's Google search for some box art. So this is very handy. When I Google search box art for Chrono Trigger, it didn't really find a whole lot that I liked here. Well, it looks like you can even add, you can customize some of the info. So you can change the name. So Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. We'll leave it at that. Two players, not simultaneous. Release date. I went ahead and actually looked this up. So Donkey Kong Country 2 release date, November 20th, 95. If you want your... Uh, you want your Super Nintendo to look good, so 1995, November 20th. Publisher, I believe Rare made this one. And that's about it. Let's do the same for Chrono Trigger. So Chrono Trigger release date, March 11th, 95. So it actually already figured it out here. Chrono Trigger, March 11th, 95. Publisher was Squaresoft. So let's go ahead and synchronize selected games you need to flash the custom kernel this is only required once do you want to continue yes do the following steps make sure power button is off reconnect your Super Nintendo mini to PC so I'm gonna do that right now hold the reset and turn on power after a few seconds release reset the power LED should not be on Okay, let's try that right now. So hold reset, press power after a few seconds, release reset. One, two, three, four, five. Power LED is not on. If driver is not yet installed, install driver. So let's do that. Press enter to exit driver installation. Okay. So it looks like it's flashing the uh, kernel right now. So I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch. Okay, so that custom firmware just got flashed. It says, done. You can upload games to your NES SNES Mini now. Press OK to continue. So, continue. Looks like it's loading them on right now. And done. So I guess that means that it's all finished. I'm not, oh, it looks like it's still thinking. And this bar here at the bottom is not finished yet. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to wait and see what happens here. I don't want to unplug it right away and risk bricking my system. So I'll give it a minute and I'll show you anything that happens to pop up. Okay, so I've waited about a minute, and at the bottom left here, it looks like this red light, which previously was red, is now green. So, um, I guess that means it's done. I'm just going to click synchronize one more time and see, just to make sure nothing new happens. Processing original games. Like, the thing that I'm concerned about is this bar here that's not full. That might just be storage. It says 81 megabytes out of 258 megs are used, so... I'm hoping that's just storage capacity of the Super Nintendo, so um, I guess we'll see in a minute once I uh, unplug this and hook it up. Done. Well, I guess uh, let's hook this up and see what happens. Okay, so I've got her hooked up here, and this is the moment of truth. Power it on, and fingers crossed, let's see what we got here. Okay, language selection, that's good. And some sound. Let's go with English. Okay, so Contra. Uh, I don't know what this is, more games? Okay, cool, so it added these into a more games folder. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect, whether they would show up with the original games that were added on here or not, but um, it looks like more games is the way to go, so I'll click that. Let's see if one of these boots up. We're going to start with 
Um, let's go with Chrono Trigger. All right, so it looks like we're loading up and it seems to have worked. So that was actually remarkably easy. Um, for the record, um, this may disappoint some of you. I have never played Chrono Trigger before, so I don't even... Oh, there we go. Um, enter name. How do I get out of here? Start. There we go. But I've heard great things, so I'm going to have to sit down and play this a little bit. But, um, yeah, this really looks like it works great. Let's reset that. So I just hit the reset switch here, and it loads right back into the main menu. So it's not quite like the original Super Nintendo, where it... Uh, not quite like the original Super Nintendo where it completely resets the console. It just looks like it brings you right back into the menu. But uh, I'm just going to try Donkey Kong Country 2. And once again, looks like we are booting into that game perfectly. So I'm just going to turn this down a bit. Um, but yeah, that was actually a very simple process. Um, really, just follow the instructions, just like the uh, system said. Oh, I'm going to post a link to download the... Uh, the hack chi software in the description here but i encourage you download it download a few roms i'm going to leave it up to you to figure out where to get those from and just uh have fun see what works see what doesn't i'd imagine there are some games that maybe don't quite work perfectly um most likely rom hack types of games and possibly some that use the uh, super fx chip i'm not too sure but uh definitely i'm going to be playing with this quite a bit trying to figure out um, what it can and can't do. But uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful when it comes to modding your own Super Nintendo Classic. Um, if you like it, be sure to like the video here. Leave me a comment below, tell me what you think, and uh, subscribe to my channel. That way you get all my uh, videos as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.